Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Hope you guys are doing well. Once again, wandering the streets of Siem Reap. I realize I've done all nighttime stuff since I've been here. <laughs> so I do get out during the day, I promise. Um, I'm just actually out for a walk. I went and grabbed a, uh, a coffee that I have finished, an iced latte. It was delightful. Cost me 5,000 real, so buck and change. It was delightful. It was very good. And if you're hearing a weird, like, kind of like popping, cracking sound, it's my shoes. I picked up a uh, pair of Birkenstocks, <laughs> and uh, on th they don't make a sound until I'm on the sidewalks, and then it kind of makes like the suction cup sound. So, whatever the um, the material is that the bottom is made of, it kind of uh, makes sounds here. So. Um, and the funny thing is, is that it will slide on it sometimes too. So yeah, these are fun. I went barefoot to begin with. And then uh, if you've ever broken in new shoes, you know the pain. Um, and immediately within, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, started to develop a hot spot underneath one of my uh, toes. So I have since put on socks. So I'm now that guy wearing socks and sandals again. But uh, check this out. So this is just the uh, pathway that leads by the river. I've shown it at night, and it is just gorgeous down here. There's statues all over the place. There's a bit of a market across the way there. I walk past it, and I think every single stall owner asked me to come in and shop, so uh, I didn't want to try to do that with you guys, but it's delightful. I'm absolutely loving my time here so far. It has been a lot of fun. But yeah, this is the city itself. It is, it's a beautiful city. I have nothing but uh, praise for everything and the amount of motorcycles down here. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on. I'm assuming it's just locals parking for work. I don't know. I, I don't have a reason for this, but there are a bunch of them. I thought at first maybe it was a uh, rental place, but it does not seem to be that way. So They all seem to be the same. Uh, black Hondas. No, there are a lot of them. Maybe just a popular rent. I have no idea. So this is the side of the river that I ate on the other day. Uh, it's where the... Th there's night markets on either side it seems uh, there's food stalls over there and then at night there's food stalls over on this side but a little bit further down and I've been focusing a lot of my travels in around this area because there are like a million side streets to get lost on and wander through and like I've just walked through some sections that were just stunning and then I walk out and then I'm in like a busy city street again there are not, I haven't seen any high rises here. I haven't seen anything over like, I think four or five stories. Um, I think that may be a thing here. I'm not too sure. Again, just an observation. Uh, I honestly don't have an issue with there not being high rises. I like them at times, a lot of times I don't. Now why am I walking in the direct sunlight? Couldn't tell you. So across here, turn off the face detect. So this section is a whole building full of stalls, much like what I was seeing in Bangkok in some of the markets and things. Um, a lot of tourist stuff, which is cool. Um, I'm really not in the, uh, I'm not here to buy a bunch of touristy stuff. Okay, I think I'm back on track again. I. Uh, as I was wandering around, I saw another street that I have not been wandering down, so why not take a few minutes to see what I can find? And, wow, that was actually funny. There was I don't know if you heard the whistling, it was a guy in a tuk-tuk. Um, but he had like this western kind of sound, like, like an old western movie. And then I looked in the back of his tuk-tuk, it said cowboy. 
which I found very humorous. I get, because of my hat, people think I'm a cowboy. Like, um, this is not a cowboy hat. <laughs> At least not to me. I think this is like a fishing cap, to be honest. I don't know. I've been wearing these things for too long. I was given my first one by one of my ex-girlfriends. Her mom had one and she just gave it to me as kind of a, I think as a joke. And uh, I loved it and I wore it all the time. And I wore it until it was threadbare. And then I ordered a new one for myself. I just got a super thin one online. I got on Amazon. And then uh, last summer, I ended up getting one from Canadian Tire. So I thought, and that one, Canadian Tire. Uh, if, if you're not Canadian, you don't know what it is. It's not a tire store. It's one of those a uh, little bit of everything store. It smells of tires when you walk in. It's got a rubber smell. They do sell tires there. But it's mostly like appliances and outdoor goods. and It's a bit of everything. It's like... Yeah, it, it's its own thing. I can't even think of anything it's like. But yeah, I picked up a... Uh, uh, this, this hat last summer. And I love it. It's thick like the, the Tilly or Tully. I think the Tilly. Uh, it's thick like that one was, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it for sure. So the one thing I've noticed on the crosswalks is you'll have the designated area to walk across, and there are walking symbols that you can either pay attention to like I do, or not, like the other gentleman. <laughs> Whew. I tell you, I'm glad I didn't take you on that part of my adventure. Uh, I just spent the last, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. I found this nice big road and went, oh, let's see where this leads. And I walked for about a mile down it. And uh, I noticed that the, the shade was getting narrower and narrower. So I'm like, I better turn. And then I turned on to, you know, opposite direction the street and the shade had already disappeared from there so I kind of like zigzag my way back and uh, finally got to an area where there's shade again so yeah it's been that was fun like, I'm not going to complain about it but that was a uh, a more rural section because there's no trees you know it's been it was fine. Like there are a lot of little businesses and stuff, and people doing their thing. But uh, for a uh, Canadian man used to uh, as little sun as possible, it got me. Whoo! I tell you, that was a an unexpected turn of events for the afternoon. So. I had a nice long walk this morning, afternoon. I enjoyed it. Uh, I went back to the hotel just to chill out, relax for a little bit. And uh, ended up crashing. <laughs> Fell asleep for like two hours. So I was just going to go and settle down for a few minutes and then get something to eat for lunch. So I guess it now looks like I'm going to be going out for dinner instead of lunch. That's okay. It is just fine by me. Um, broccoli greens. I got a little bit of a dipping sauce here that's like lemon and calamansi and pepper and slight. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. This is really nice. A little bit spicier than yesterday, which is nice. I've been kind of missing a little bit of that extra spice in the food here, so. I'm very happy. Mm. Apologies for chewing. Uh, and then this one, I got, it's a uh, beef with a broad, uh, broad noodle or a wide noodle and a fried egg because fried egg comes with most things. 
both dishes are buck fifty each. So very reasonable. And again, all the water. That was a good. Twenty-five cents. So um yeah, dinner's gonna come to three twenty-five. If memory serves, that should be 14,000 weeks. This is delightful. They do have like a chili sauce and stuff here. Actually, for this one. This is a mild chili sauce. You gotta be careful, because sometimes, you know, a person's mild is not a person's hot. So. I'll be cautiously optimistic that this is actually mold. I think I've had this one before yeah, but yeah. in Thailand. I had um, the chicken. They had a chili sauce that they had available. So I dipped a little bit in there. Oh, that's nice. And it is mom. Very mom. So, I will not bore you all with another watching me eat video. You can sit here and relax. Temple has, you can probably hear the, the sounds. There's something going on when I walk past. So I'm just going to sit here, relax and enjoy the sounds, the surroundings. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to get up early. And I plan on doing some of the things that I was going to do today. Um, I actually, when I got back to the room, um, one of the things I did was take a look at some of the things to do. Um, I figured two days of just wandering around aimlessly without a set plan. Probably not the best of ideas. So, not for my entire trip here. So I did take a look at a few things to, to place to go. Hmm. So, I will, uh, I will do that in the next coming days. Um, I still have to with Angkor, Angkor Wat. A um, couple things I want to do before I go there. So, even if I save that for the end of the week, it doesn't matter to me. As long as I go. So, anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my meal. Hope you guys don't mind the fiasco of the day. <laughs> so, I've enjoyed it. But not every day can be perfect or planned or, you know, not without some some form of uh, mishap. So I don't mind sharing. When the six happen for me. And the walk in the bright sun at noon, probably not a good idea. I strayed away from the uh, the trees and, you know, the shaded areas, thinking that I'd be able to find it again real quick, and I didn't. I think it's overheated, and uh, that's okay. But anyway, you're new. If you want to see more of this content that is not so fiasco filled, feel free to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Uh, if you are so inclined and you made it this far, there'll be another link to a video over here. Anyway, see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.